Hi family, my name is Melita. If you don't know that because you're new here. If you're new, welcome. And if you're old, welcome back. So in this video, I will be doing a review on the new Too Faced Matte Born This Way Foundation. So I will be doing a wear test, transfer resistant test. So I have the old born this way the original and i picked up the new born this way now let me open it so you can see so this is what the mat looks like it is in a longer bottle but it's still the same amount 0.1 fluid ounce just like this one i picked up a different shade this time around because for um the original born this way i am in the shade spice rum and for the matte born this way i picked up the shade ter teramisu i was trying to pronounce that properly teramisu so the reason why i picked up a different shade and by the way i did the shade match online i used their shade matching tool so i'm also hoping today that this shade is my right shade for the spice rum i did it during the winter so by the time spring came around it was starting to get light for me but there's nothing in here it finished that's how much i love it i just been lazy to go do another summer shade until they came out with the matte born this way so my plan also is to see if this um shade match i did online is gonna work for me if so then i'm gonna keep it oh i almost dropped it so this foundation claims to be oil free oil controlling waterproof transfer resistant 24 hour undetectable super long wearing foundation yep that's what it claims to be we're gonna test it out now i'm not guaranteed that i'm gonna wear it for 24 hours but i'm gonna wear it for a good amount of time just like the same amount of time i can wear my regular foundations i went ahead already and primed my face using my becca primer and for moisture i used the pharmacy honeymoon glow now in this video we are going to be focusing on just the foundation i will do the rest of my face off camera all right so i'm just gonna start with two pump as much as i love the original born this way my skin is not skin i use uh, on that is here for oh and by the way i've been enjoying doing my foundation with sponge lately been working very well for me so guys this could be it the shade matching tool may have just came through because from what i'm seeing right here we are looking good well let me not stop talking let's just finish with the blending of this foundation okay so this is two pump this is how we look in um if i had a nice skin i would stick to two pump but uh, the way my skin is set up two pump is not good enough so i will be going in with another one probably just yeah two more
Okay guys, so this is the foundation by itself. Let me know so far what you think about the finish, actually the shade match. So far, I like the finish. It looks very natural in my opinion. It finishes smoothly like the original, of course, but at the same time, matte. You know what the matte of this foundation remind me of? The Makeup Forever Matte Plus Velvet Foundation. Now, the original before they came out with the other one that I can't stand. But anyways, let's do another test. That'll be the transfer test. So, this is a clean paper towel. I'm going to use this to... um. nothing absolutely nothing on this paper towel so it definitely passed the transfer resistant test now waterproof i'm not about to spray water on my face right now and i'm not diving in the pool so we will do that another day now here's what i'm gonna do I will go ahead and do the rest of my face and then I will be back. Okay, you guys, so I am back. I did my entire face the way I normally do it. The product that was added today was obviously the Born This With Matte Foundation. And um, after doing my makeup, I'm looking at it and what I see, I feel like the shade match is spot on. So the one more test to do is the wear test. I'm going to wear it for as long as I can. That means the duration of the time I wear my foundation. So maybe I started putting on my foundation at exactly 10 a.m. So let's go from 10 a.m. to whenever I come back to you guys. If I can get 12 hours out of it, it'll be good. Because usually I wear my foundation anywhere from nine to ten hours and it's supposed to be a 24 hours so i will be back here later to do the final review so far i like the finish i love the coverage and i feel like definitely this is my shade um tiramisu let me know what you think because um and then i'm gonna ask few people as well and ask, find out what they think about this shade. Because if it is, I'm definitely going to keep it. And I definitely do hope that it holds up to the wear time. Okay, so I decided to come outside so you can see the foundation in real lighting. Because I was uh, in, I have ring lights and other stuff on. It is exactly 3 p.m. And I put this foundation on since 10 a.m. And so far, it is staying hot. Oh my gosh, it's looking pretty good. Like, for real. Wow. And the shade match in daylight is actually, like, look at this. Oh. I will reach back out again in a few. The babies are getting wet. Look at this. All right, family, I am back with my final check-in. I have been wearing this foundation since 10 a.m. It is 11.15 p.m. Yes, that's how long I've been wearing it. 13 and a half hours. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's said to be 24 hours, but we're not going to go into 24 hours today. We're going to do that another day. I will definitely attempt to do that one of these days. But uh, I asked two people about my foundation shade mask because I told you guys I did get a different shade. So I first asked my husband because uh, usually when I'm trying new foundations and the foundation is light, he will say something immediately. But he did not say anything about this. So I asked him either way. I still asked him like on what did he think about my foundation. Was it light or uh, like too light? Was it looking orange? Do I look ashy? And, and he said the foundation does not look light. Like I said, when my foundation is light, he will point it out. So he said the foundation was not light and he does not see it 
looking orange or whatnot it was fine so i was like okay and then i asked my friend because when i went outside she was there i asked her i'm like how does my foundation looks and she said it looks perfectly fine because i have showed her the Too faced born this way original before we were actually supposed to go get that one and um this one came out so i was like let me do the test so she said it looks fine so yeah she planned on getting the Born This Way Matte because listen, I have been wearing this foundation for like 13 and a half hours. And I still look like this. Like um, once I blot my face, because I haven't blot all day, I took foundation on. I do not blot until it's time to wash it off. So let's blot and then put lipstick on and see how we look like. like even with everything on here different products look at this it's still not transferring like that much so this is definitely as for the transfer resistant part i definitely believe it because i have other products on my face and it still didn't transfer that much so let me go ahead and uh, apply a lip gloss let's just see So with a lip gloss on we got ourselves on whole another look i feel like i can actually put this up for a few more hours but no i gotta go take a shower and cut it at night but yeah guys this foundation gets two thumbs up from me it got a thumbs up from my husband and my friend so it got four thumbs up you let me know because it takes a village to find a foundation like a perfect shade for a melon girl like me then let me know if this foundation is actually a good match and uh, if you plan on trying it but like i said i love it i am so glad it held up the way it did like um uh, my face is still not like wiping off like other foundations would do by the time that the night goes on in your face look like you had nothing on and stuff like that my face is still intact that's amazing. I mean, then again, I'm not surprised because the Bonded Way original has been my fave. Just, I got lazy to get a different shade until. But you know what? I'm glad I waited because now I have the perfect summer foundation. All right? So, uh, if you've been watching up until now and you're not yet subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe when you do hit that notification bell so you will never miss an upload from me again i will catch you all in my next video bye